Hi friends, today I have come up with one game called Ramudu Sita. So in Hindu mythology, there is one story called Ramayana and uh, where the hero or the god is Ramudu and the wife of Ramudu is Sita and in, uh, the other characters are brothers of Rama, Lakshmana, Lakshmanudu and Bharata, Bharatudu and the father of Ramudu is Dasaradudu so these are the characters in the Ramayana so based on those mythology only the game has been constructed so the main advantage of this game is identification that means we need to identify which person is Sita by the person who got Ram okay that is the main idea let us see how this will be played and how this will be calculated and how the winner will be selected okay and let's go ahead first we need to take a paper like this we need to take a paper and we need to cut in the small small portions and we need to give the name and also value so for ramudu the value is 1000 for Sita the value is 0, Lakshmanudu the value is 900, Bharatudu the value is 800, Dasaradudu the value is 700. Okay, the values may be changed but for Ramudu the value is 1000 and Sita the value is 0. Those two are the constants. For other thing you can go ahead and this game will be played with minimum 3 persons. If there is no 3 person that means if there is only 2 person this game will not be played properly and this can be played with so many people also so how many number of people involved in this game and that much interesting the game will be okay and so these are the uh, markings for Ramdu the value is either thousand or zero that depends upon the game and for Sita the spouse of Ramdu the value will be either zero or thousand depends upon the game and Lakshmanudu, the brother of Ramudu, the value is 900. And Dasaradudu, the brother of Ramudu, the value is 800. And sorry, Bharatudu, the brother of Ramudu, is the value is 800. And Dasaradudu, father of Ramudu, the value is 700. And so on. So if you if so many people are there, you can give the names based on the Ramayana mythology okay that's the concept of this entire game first we need to take the paper we need to cut into small small pieces and we need to write the names and the values like this and after this we need to fold them like this so in a unique fashion we need to fold them such that there is no identification for any of them so that once you fold it and you need to shuffle it and then Everyone has to choose one piece out of them and they have to see the, they can see the pace I mean they can, they can open the chit. So once they have opened it, so who got Ramudu, the job of Ramudu is he has to select the Sita out of them. For example, if Lakshmanudu has come, Lakshmanudu may put the face such that he may, he may be safe. If Sita has come, he is the person who got Sita. He may be troubled or he may be, uh, the expression may be different. So based on those expressions, the person who got Ramudu has to select Sita and which person is Sita. Suppose I am the Ramudu and I have selected one person as Sita and that person is only the Sita, then the value for them is for him or her is 0 and my value is 1000. For example, I am Ramudu and I am unable to identify the Sita. That means I have chosen one person to be Sita but he is not Sita. Then my value will be 0 and who got Sita in, in that place that means in that person and their value will be 1000. So in that way if you get Ramudu you should be in a position to identify Sita. If you get Sita you should be in a position to identify yourself mingling with the paper that means your expression should not be shown such that you got Sita if you if you pretend like that that means you you will be normal or you will be like Lakshmanudu or Bharatudu or something else then you will get thousand marks so in this way the game will be 
processed. So in this way the value for the ROM do may be 1000 or 0 and theta will be 0 or 1000 that depends ok. In that way we need to give the markings for Lakshmana do it is 1900 for Bharatudu it is 800 for Dasaradudu it is 700 those are constants. So in this way the game will go ahead and here we need to marking and we need to calculate like this for the person 1 suppose he got Ramudu and the person 2 got Sita and he has identified correctly as person 2 is Sita. So person 1 got 1000 marks and person 2 got 0 marks and the remaining people got the marks according to their values. For example person 4 may get Lakshmanudu so he may get 900. Person 3 is Bharatudu so he may get 800. Person 5 is Dasaradudu so he got 700. So in this way we need to mark the we need to mark the marks or values. So this is one game and the, for the second game for example for the second game uh, person 3 person 3 may have Ramudu and maybe person 2 may have Sita but person 3 he was unable to identify C, person 2 as Sita. So person 2 will get 1000 marks and person 3 will get 0 and all other remaining whatever they have obtained so the marks are as, as it is. So that is the thing and in this way we need to proceed game 1, game 2, game 3 and up to our energy goes out and finally we need to calculate the total. Once whose total is more he will be the victim. So in this way the Ramudu Sita game has to be performed. And what is the advantage of this game? This game can identify the right person based on their facial expression. So this can be maybe the application or usefulness of this game is identification of the person. So in this way this game will go ahead and this is a very simple game, very easy game based on the Hindu's mythology. So if you like if you want to change the names also you can change it. So this is the how it go ahead. So you can also play this game very nicely but the minimum persons are more than 3. Okay, That will be better if only 2 persons are there this is not at all feasible. So you can go ahead with either Dadi or you can go ahead with Puli Mecha but this is not feasible. Okay, Thank you. Thank you so much for watching our YouTube channel and please if you like this video please like it. If you want to share this video, please share with your friends and family and kindly if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe and please press the bell button so that you will get the notifications whenever I upload any video. Thank you. Thank you so much.